After a two and a half hour flight from Rio, we landed in our next stop in our South American adventure, Argentina. That's reassuring. We walk off the plane and this is the first thing we get. So Buenos Aires is actually known for about three things, obviously more than that, but three things that are super popular as far as tourism is concerned, and that is their food and wine, their tango, and soccer. So we plan on showing you a little bit of that throughout our entire trip, but tonight we are really excited because we're actually going back to a restaurant that I had 12 years ago when I was here for my first time. Um, it was delicious, I still remember it, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be the same 12 years ago as it is today. Uh, but we plan on showing you a bunch of food and wine throughout our entire trip, but let's get started with Cabana Las Lias. It's really, it's really a wonderful place. Where does it rank on your list of steaks? Uh, top five? One of the things that's important to know in Buenos Aires is even though the checks have a tip line, it doesn't actually go to a tip for the waiter or the waitress. Uh, so if you are dining out and you want to give a service, which you don't technically have to, um, it's about 10% and you need to give it in cash. So make sure that you go to an ATM or just have it on hand. Number two on the Argentina itinerary was learning to tango, or at least pretending we knew what we were doing. After we crushed a few toes, it was time to let the pros show us how it's done. So item number three on the Buenos Aires bucket list is a real live soccer match. Fans here are crazy. They don't allow alcohol to be sold in the stadiums. <laughs> and it should be a really good time. So here we go. Post-game thoughts? Uh, they're really good at technical side of things. They are terrible at actually taking any hits from the wings. And the fans are crazy. Yeah. We love it. activity on Sundays the San Telmo markets are full of vendors selling goods food antiques and just about everything else you can imagine so we decided to check it out
places that we have come to love in Buenos Aires is this um, kind of waterfront along the major river that runs through it. Uh, you can see behind me there's the bridge that is just absolutely a beautiful piece of architecture. Um, but there's a lot of cool restaurants, bars, breweries, all of that along this area. So if you're new in the area and you don't quite know where to go, this is definitely somewhere you should want to check out. So one of the awesome benefits of the photography portion of what we do <laughs> is scouting for some awesome photos to share with all of you. And we just discovered this gorgeous composition that we were going to do has these wonderful little lights right there that come on when it gets dark outside. So should be interesting to see if those are there in the morning. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Well, our plan was to get up early this morning, which we did, uh, to go get a sunset shot of the bridge with the buildings behind it. Um, as you can see, I am back in my rain jacket. So we unfortunately woke up to thunderstorms this morning. So. Didn't get a chance to do it. Thankfully, we got a couple of cool shots last night, um, just not the one that we wanted. So, kind of a sad day. this city so much and the relaxation that it has and just the general slower pace of life. We got to experience some amazing food and drink. We loved going to soccer and tango. It was just overall one of the best. Um, wouldn't be true to form for a travel day if it wasn't pouring down rain outside, so that's exciting. But we're getting ready to head out and head to our next destination. Make sure you check out next week to see where we go. If you like this week's video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you want to follow along with us each week, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a single video.